Hey everyone, good morning. Uh, today is January 8th, um, early in the morning. Um, as I promised, I did make it in last night's Pacific time, 6.30. Started at 6.30 Pacific time last night, the Leap Code contest. Um, although I didn't do a super good job, um, I didn't do a super bad job either. Um, well, I I stopped participating for like two or three months, and here is my uh, contest result. I got two problems solved within the first 12, 13 minutes. Um, I struggled a little bit with the third problem, and then my wife keeps asking me to join the hot pot dinner, which I was really hungry and starving at the moment, so I thought, okay, I'll just go, and then I give up, uh, which I really shouldn't. But it's every single, like Saturday night, it's one of those nights, like family get together, hot pot, or like dinner, wine. So yeah, it's it's too difficult. Always time conflict. So I could like focus the thirty minutes, the first thirty minutes of the contest. Anyways, I'll stop rambling. Um, then I'll try to be more committed. Um, yeah, um, this is good for myself uh, improvement and good for. Um, everybody's that's watching that's interested um, in watching my channel so thanks for doing that um, then okay let's quickly go through the first problem of um, last night's um, decode contest which is um, an easy problem uh, decode problem 25 29 maximum count of positive integer and negative integer uh, given an array of them sorted in non decreasing order written the maximum between the number of positive integers and the number of negative integers. Um, well, it, this is really easy, even if it doesn't have this non-decreasing order. Well, I'm basically, during the context, I basically disregarded this, the feature of this array. I just counted the number of positive and the number of negative integers. Of course, Looking back, if this is a non-decreasing order, we basically can use binary search to see um, where the, the pivot point or where the changing point, which is uh, because this is non-decreasing, right? We only need to find where the zero, if there is a zero. In this case, there is zero in this array. So we got um, two uh, positive numbers and three negative numbers. So the biggest number is three, so we return three instead of counting all of them. Um, yeah, let's see if the hint says the same. Yeah, count how many, well, the number one hint is count how many positive integers and then negative integers are in the array. Then do take the max out of the two. Um, or the other hint, the second hint is, since the array is solid, can we use binary search? Yes, for sure. But, um, I just wanted to demo uh, the method that I used during the contest um, <laughs> in which I basically disregarded. I didn't even see this because I, I know the first problem is usually easy on the contest. So what I did is just brute force, very brute force. So the time complexity is O of N. So let's, let me show that one more time. Number of positive, number of negative, then four, none, Nums if num is greater than zero um, positive plus one else we need to we need to have an if statement here because it's possible there are zeros in the array zero is neither negative nor positive right so smaller than zero will increment negative in the end we'll just return the max of these two which is pause max right uh, run let's see accept it submit All right yeah this is basically a very easy problem um, I used pretty brute force solution approach to solve this basically counted the number of positive and number of negative uh, numbers in this given array and take a max of course uh, a more Optimal solution is to use binary search since this given array is non decreasing order. All right, um, time complexity of this one is O n, but if you use binary search, it could be optimized to O log n, right? And take full advantage of the non decreasing um, 
feature of this array. Um, so if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, comment and share uh, this video. That means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.